from fighting a legal battle against his ex-partner to reminding people of his controversial actions from 2017. This is how Tiger Woods' lawsuit with ex Erica Herman took yet another turn. Mr. Woods seems to be attracting controversy pretty much everywhere he goes. Even now, when the golfer is on the brink of retirement, it looks like some of his past actions are coming to haunt him. That's right, the PGA star is trying his best to keep his ex from breaking their NDA. Now, I don't know about you, but all of this sounds pretty bizarre to me. Think about it like this. Woods must be hiding some pretty serious stuff if he's being so possessive and weird about it. Of course, we would all just love to find out what that NDA really holds. Someone needs to tell Tiger that his efforts to keep it hidden are actually backfiring. Because the more he's keeping it away, the more people get crazy to reach the bottom of this. Did you know that recently, he even filed a motion to get the lawsuit dismissed? Yep, he's hoping that the court will simply throw out the lawsuit without anyone getting to hear his ex-girlfriend, Erica Herman's story. I can only imagine how much damage it's going to do to his reputation. And all this is coming on top of the golfer's accident and drug problems. Oh, and let's not forget about the infamous affairs and cheating allegations. Now. Before we get into the details of their controversies, let's talk a bit about the matter at hand. From what I know, Erica Herman signed the non-disclosure agreement willingly, and that's exactly what the former number one's team is basing their entire case on, apparently. The agreement also stated that if any disagreements arose between the couple, they'll be solving it privately. That means as far away from the court as possible, which is definitely not the case right now. The filing made by Wood's team clarified that this wasn't what the couple agreed on. It said, Ms. Herman's response evinces a lack of understanding of the procedures to be followed at the upcoming hearing. But that's not all. The golfer's lawyers maintained that Erica was bound by the arbitration provisions. And this countersuit Woods has filed against him is just him practicing his rights. Now, if you think about it, all this sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? But here's the thing, in most cases, when a partner asks out of an NDA, it's mostly due to sexual harassment and assault. Seems like we might be heading towards another celebrity trial. That is, of course, if the golfer's team is unsuccessful in getting Erica's lawsuit thrown out. Okay, that's enough from Wood's lawyers. Let's hear it from Erica herself. So, the couple was actually together for around five years. Apparently, they met at a pop-up of Wood's restaurant, The Wood's Jupiter. Herman was also the restaurant manager at the eatery, and I guess the chemistry between them was off the charts, since they began dating shortly after. But not everything was sweet and rosy. You see, in recent comments, Erica alleged that she was forced to sign the contract. If you're wondering why didn't she just say no, well, they blackmailed her, so she had to sign the agreement or lose her job. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a tough choice to me. She also revealed that Tiger was initially seeking a sexual relationship. Yeah, that made everything 10 times shadier, especially with the golfer's previous history in mind. Oh, and guess what? This isn't where her lawsuits against her famous beau end. Turns out she had first filed a suit against a trust for Woods' residence. This happened back in October 2022. According to Erica, she was forced to leave the couple's residence. If any of you are wondering, yes, it was actually Tiger Woods' house. So technically, he had the right to ask her to leave. But clearly, the golfer never asked and apparently the two of them had an oral agreement. The golfer didn't really have much of a problem with his ex-partner staying at the house for another five years. What's more, Wood's lawyers weren't above being sneaky when it came to the surprise evacuation process. You see, originally, Erica was asked to pack a weekend bag. Why, you might be wondering. Well, the poor woman was under the impression that she was going away to the Bahamas, but turns out that wasn't the case at all. Oh no, it was a trip to buy Bahamas instead. At the airport, she was given the news that she wouldn't be allowed on the property again. Oh, and she won't be seeing Tiger Woods again as well. Seeing everything that he put her through, I'm gonna say that she dodged a bullet there. But still, locking her out of the property was super childish and definitely not a good move. So, this brings us to the latest twist in the relationship between Erica Herman and Tiger Woods. In a suit filed in March 2023, Herman included some accusations of sexual assault and harassment. But get this, there were no specific instances mentioned in this filing. I guess we'll have to wait for the case to hit the trial in order to see what was really going on. As far as the law states, such allegations can often be used to void a non-disclosure agreement. 
Do you think the agreement will be nullified? Whatever the conclusion is, everyone's super curious about the secrets this agreement holds. This filing also said, the landlord made the availability of her housing conditional on her having a sexual relationship with a co-tenant. This is clearly sexual harassment under the federal and Florida fair housing laws. But hey, Tiger Woods isn't going to back down so easily. Nope. Instead of settling or even letting Erica stay in the house till she figures things out, his team decided to go ahead with the proceedings. In their recent filing, they released some emails between Erica and Woods' chief financial officer. And guess what? Their version of the story doesn't match Erica's. Surprise. Surprise. These emails allegedly include the two parties discussing the NDA. In this conversation, she was apparently told that her employment by the Woods Jupiter and personal relationship with Tiger Woods were two separate items. At the time of signing, Herman didn't think much about how all of this was going to affect her in the future. I guess we could say that this was because of the couple's budding romance and whatnot. Besides, at the time, she knew she wasn't going to go and say something in public that would hurt the golfer or the kids. That's definitely a sweet sentiment, but it sort of backfired, don't you think? And hey, things got a bit too complicated, especially when she was kicked out of the property. In the opinion of Tiger Woods' legal team, despite everything, Erica really doesn't stand a chance of getting the NDA nullified. Apart from this lawsuit, Woods has a lot on his plate. You see, his future in the PGA is sort of hanging by a thread, and it's not because of a possible sexual harassment case coming his way, but because the golfer just went through knee surgery. It hasn't been a long time since Woods returned to the course and played in a major event. Now, it seems like he's going to have to wait for even longer. That is, if he comes out of this lawsuit with a somewhat okay reputation. Because let's be honest, the man's had enough controversy to last him at least two lifetimes. If you've been keeping up with his rather bizarre lifestyle, then you'd know what happened when those first rumors started surfacing. The golfer was married at the time, when he was accused of being too much into the nightlife and having an affair with a nightclub manager, Rachel Yucatel. These allegations resulted in a domino effect, where many women started coming forward, alleging that they'd been involved with the golfer while he was married. Yikes. Later. He ended up getting divorced from his wife of six years, Ellen Nordegren. That was a tough time for the player as he drove his car straight into a fire hydrant soon afterwards. Rumor has it that his wife had actually confronted him, and Tiger, instead of living up to his name and facing the situation, chose to run away. But that's not even the worst of it all. He was taken in by the Florida police for a DUI in 2017. It was even found that the golfer had five drugs in his system, although at the time he said that they were for his pain. Woods later pleaded guilty. The incident took place near his residence at 3 a.m., and the sportsman was released later in the morning. Woods ended up going to rehab for his problems and took full responsibility for his actions. Afterwards, people thought that he'd changed for good, but the current situation is pointing in the other direction. I wonder if his reputation will ever be able to survive this new scandal. On that note, from reminding people of his controversial actions from 2017 to fighting a legal battle against his ex-partner, that was all you needed to know about Erica's lawsuit against Tiger Woods.